Titanic was discovered on September 1, 1985 by a joint French-American expedition led by Robert Ballard. The wreckage was found east-southeast of its reported final position on the North American continental shelf. At the time of the discovery, the wreck site had become scattered due to the strong oceanic currents. Despite this, many artifacts survived in remarkable condition, making the discovery one of the most important of the 20th century. The vessel had a visible profile on the sea floor, consisting of its bow and stern sections. Titanic's bows also showed the effects of a head-on collision with an iceberg while its stern was almost completely intact. The hull had broken up and holes of substantial size were clearly visible. The iconic smokestack had toppled forward, revealing a decorated ceramic tile. Its grand staircase and the interiors of the first-class suites were still visible. Some of the cabins and accommodations were still intact and even had teacups, since undisturbed. The wreck site revealed numerous items that were part of life on board Titanic, such as a bathtub, musical instruments, playing cards, and personal items. Titanic's twin red and green navigation lights remained on the bow. Of particular interest were the ship's davits, which are the winches used to launch the lifeboats. The winches are a testament to the eagerness of the crew and passengers to launch the life-saving vessels. Even more remarkably, one of the davits still held a partially loaded lifeboat ready for launch. The expedition team also found a wide array of objects unique to Titanic, such as coal, fine porcelain dishes, and silverware. Items belonging to higher-ranking passengers included a jade pendant and gold cuff links. The stern was home to a partially filled cargo hold containing some of the ship's rarest and most valuable artifacts. The team found numerous coins and personal items, as well as more delicate objects such as a sculpture of a nude woman, and a framed painting. The stern section held the captain's quarters, complete with furniture, carpets, and with the armchair in which the captain spent his final moments. Also found were the ship's bell, telegraph system, and grand piano. The sunken remains of Titanic had been at the bottom of the ocean for 73 years, yet remained surprisingly intact. Although ocean currents had shifted some of the debris, most of its white painted superstructure was still intact. The deck was heavily populated with boilers, some of which were still in place and in astonishingly good condition. It was not until the dive team had inspected the wreck that they discovered the huge hole in the hull, 